Welcome back Switchheads and today we have the Dexter Stardust Adventures in Outer Space review. So why not subscribe for more content in the future and also hit that like button while we get to know Dexter Stardust. First off it's worth mentioning that this is season 1 and episodes 0 to 5 in which 0 is kind of almost like a tutorial level before you get into the actual main body of the storyline. Each episode has these indicators as well, telling what you will roughly expect from each chapter. And I have to say that I was hoping for each individual episode to lead into each other, but this was not the case. And you were kind of like, you were kind of forced to go through and back to the main menu in order to go back to the chapter selection to select the next chapter, which then it will ask you, well, do you want to play this if you haven't played the others? It just didn't flow properly, if that makes sense. It, it should have just led off one another. And I just felt this was a bit odd and felt a bit weird and a bit of a shame as well, as it kind of broke the immersion slightly. You are Dexter, a delivery person, one of two of your team, the other being a lady of, well, sarcasm and wit. And, oh yes, you get to fly around in a spaceship, delivering your company's goods, and, well, eating tacos as well. Everybody likes tacos! At its basics, you're looking at a point-and-click game, but a very well-polished one at that. It's got all your elements here, puzzles to work out, which have varying degrees of difficulty that, as per most of these games, you have to have a degree of thinking like the dev here and there. And then there's the story, which I won't be spoiling here. It's very well written, funny, interesting, and even wacky at times. All with that having to work out what to do next where to go next, who to speak to next, and what to press, etc, etc. And also, as per these sort of games, you get to talk to NPCs, and joy of joys! It's all voiced, and pretty darn well voiced at that. And this just really helps the story along, and the jokes and sarcasm hits home more and it really does give it a more natural feel to the game. Why are you looking for a Vrezian robot? It's the craziest thing. There have been reports that a Vrezian robot has been going from planet to planet looking for something. Controlling Dexter is pretty easy. Point here, move there, using your wheel button thing to look, use, speak, and even pick up items. You also get a log of what you need to be doing and have done. A checklist, if you will. And alongside your checklist, you also have your inventory, where you will be storing all those items you have picked up and also have been given. From there, you can use them where and when needed. Graphically, I found the game well animated and fun to look at, giving off a retro-inspired modern feel to it. As for the sound, well, that was equally as impressive with key sounds feeling well done and the music really resonated well within the game. Uh, did I mention it was fully voiced? And while we're on the subject of fully voiced, I just want to touch on one major thing that I thought was pretty impressive. And that was the developer's commentary. I mean, wow, impressive or what? I absolutely love this. Walk into an area, click a button and hear the soothing and informative tones of the developer. His thought processes, ideas, and just some very interesting information that, personally, I love to hear. And there's even shout-outs to people that helped him out a little bit more than normal during the actual pandemic when he was creating the game. It was just, it, it was just fantastic to hear it all. And I really would encourage other developers to do this sort of thing as well. 
It took me so long to figure out how to get Dexter to walk up and down these hills. It's definitely something that uh, the player probably takes for granted, and, and they should, but, but here's how I did it. It's important to know that all the scenes do not respect a Z-axis. They're all in 2D, so the depth is faked with sorting layers. The far background is on layer like negative 50 or something like that. And Dexter is typically on layer zero, but he can be moved around. The, the foreground is on layer 10. Cool, isn't it? And all this extra info and time and effort just really adds to the game's charm and appeal. The good. All the sound in general fitted and it being voiced, well, that was just the icing on the cake, really. I thought it looked great on the Switch. Captures the retro point and click feel while retaining a modern feel to it. Oh, and that wonderful, wonderful commentary. The bad. To be honest, there really was not much bad here. Apart from that way you go from chapter to chapter, there's very little here to complain about, as the whole puzzle's too easy or too hard is down to the individual player, as well as the I get it feeling. The score. Hands down the best point and click game I played on the Switch, and so many things that just make you like it, and for all those reasons, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, and it will be the new benchmark to which I will be judging all the other point and click games from, from now on. And so, what are your thoughts on Dexter Stardust? Are you going to be picking it up, or are you going to be leaving it? Leave it all down in the comments, that is after all where they belong. And I suppose we should be getting on to my alternative, and that is going to be Deponia. And I believe I've mentioned this one before, and yeah, I still haven't picked it up, <laughs> mainly because I've had too many other things to play. But I have only heard good things about this game, so maybe once you're done with Dexter Stardust, pick yourself up a bit of Deponia. And that is your lot. Thank you for joining me. Hit that like and subscribe button for more content in the future. Feel free to join us in our community Discord where we chat about things we enjoy. Again, the Nintendo Switch. Or if you want to take this conversation about this here game a little bit further. Because life is better when we switch together.